All right, so I just got back from my Alaska sheep hunt, and we're just going to do a real quick uh, bag dump and see what gear I took. Um, little disclaimer, I'm not a professional sheep hunter. I uh, live in Kansas. I don't get to spend 120, 150 days a year like some of you guys out in the backcountry, but I do have experience, and I've kind of got my gear whittled down to, to what my preferences are. So we'll just go through here real quick. Um, I may not get into every little detail. So this bag's got some foot care products, um, deodorant, seam sealer, and some sunscreen. Didn't use the sunscreen, didn't use the foot care. Uh, boots worked out perfectly, but I would still take it. Um, this bag has spoon, some tenacious tape, um, some powder for checking wind, my wilderness athlete uh, altitude advantage, some luco tape, um, some zip strips. Battery, extra battery or backup battery for uh, charging the uh, cameras. In reach, iPhone, uh, my watch. Um, that one's an anchor. There's several options out there. We're not going to talk specifically about the gear. I did take a bug net. Uh, didn't need it there. I would still take it. Um, probably actually need it here more in Kansas than I did there. Uh, Thermal rest, uh, air pillow, tines up. Adapter. I did take a kill kit uh, with me. We ended up leaving this at camp. My guide had one we didn't think with the one sheep that we were going to need both, so we took his. I did take the Havlon uh, knife out of the out of the kit with me. We did use it. Um, so obviously, I, I took my ProMaster 525 Carbon and my Benro S2 and my Swaro 80mm HD with me. Um, I would recommend taking them on your hunt or taking them to camp with you. We ended up not using them because uh, the sheep are so obvious. The only thing we really needed a spotter for is actual judging. I'm not very good at judging, so I just took my guide's word for it. I obviously looked at the sheep to make sure it was something I wanted to shoot before I shot it. Uh, I got this smaller dry bag. It's got my camera in it, um, some backup batteries, charging cables to go with that battery. Um, I'd already taken them out of the backpack. I did take a beanie, and I did take the Kuyu uh, Kenai Ultra, the newer Kenai, and there'll be some gear reviews later uh, on the Kuyu gear itself. I took uh, Wilderness Athlete. This is actually a Berry Blast container. I mixed up uh, the Superman with uh, Mango Bango Berry Blast before I left. Um, did take my rear rifle rest. This weighs about uh, two pounds. Take what works for you. I know that this one's not going to cause vertical in my rifles when I'm shooting long range, and I would gladly carry the extra two pounds to make sure I'm not going to miss. Um, I did take a Thermo Rest seat pad. Um, some Black Rifle Instant Coffee. And obviously, if you're not a coffee drinker, you, you're not going to be taking coffee. Um, I strongly recommend trying that uh, Black Rifle Instant Coffee if you haven't tried it. I also took this, uh, this one's a 48 ounce um, Nalgene. I took a 32 as well, but it's not in my bag. Um, and then I, I just take a, a cup that I've been using for years for mixing things. So let's get into the bag. Okay, this dry bag has um, 
all my socks and underwear in it. it I'm not going to open it up. If I do think of anything I missed while we're going through here, I'll come back and talk about it. But I took uh, three extra pair of socks, or three total pair of socks, so one on my feet and, and two in the bag, uh, both the merinos and the uh, liners, and then an extra pair of underwear. A pair of uh, Glacier socks I got from Barney's, uh, mixed reviews on them. I didn't actually use them. Um, it'd be nice to take with camp, ask your guide if you actually need them. I can tell you for sure I didn't have Crocs, but I will take Crocs in the future. If nothing else, if not for crossing streams, then just to have around camp when you're done for the day's hunt, it's nice to get your boots off, but still to walk around. We were on a lot of glacial marine, or moraine, sorry, so it would be nice. Uh, Kuyu gaiters, which were on me. Um, I took a life straw uh, bottle with me, didn't end up using it, or actually didn't take it in the field. Some leather gloves. Um, I'm not going to get into it here, but we're going to talk about real quickly. Um, I took a Super Down Pro, so I took a little bit uh, abnormal layering system for most people, but I've gone clear to the uh, extreme as far as saving weight and not feeling uh, comfortable because it's too cold. So I chose to go with the Super Down Pro and the Kenai Ultra and then just a, a shell, a rain shell on the outer. I didn't, it didn't get cold enough to wear them both, uh, but I would still take this setup and I will be, continue to try it for at least a couple hunting seasons until I find that it, you know, it doesn't work or it does work. So these were actually worn too. These are the Talus pants. Um, again, there'll be reviews on this. This was just a t-shirt I wore up on the airplane. Um, I took two top base layers. Again, both of these from Kuyu. I took the uh, new Katana rain gear, so the bottoms, the uppers. These are some of the liner socks. I took my stove and pot, but in the end we left that at the lodge. We ended up just sharing, which is strongly recommended. Um, I took the SNS archery hiking poles, and I would strongly recommend hiking poles. Super Down Pro pant. Again, we'll talk about the the Kuyu gear later in a review. I ended up uh, going with a Kafaro Zero Degree synthetic bag, uh, just due to the fact that I was afraid of, of the, the chances of having multiple day rain and didn't want to trust the down losing loft due to humidity. I know we have treated down now that's supposed to work, but I just didn't want to chance it. I really love the bag and I'd take it again. Um, took my tarp tent moment tent. We ended up just leaving it at the lodge and taking the guides at Co from Hilleberg just because he trusted it. I didn't have a problem with it. They're almost identical. Uh, I really don't know what the difference is after having used that one several times and spending the, a few days in the Atco. Um, and then I took a Thermarest air mattress. Stone Glacier rain cover, and that's everything that's in there. I did take a Stone Glacier Sky Guide 7900 with me. The pack did well. Try to get links to all the gear that I did take with me up on the, the website with the link to the video. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head on over to longrangeonly.com. If you're not already signed up for an account, go ahead and do it. It's quick, it's easy, it's free. We'd love to have you. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a good day.